action. I think the uh, yeah okay. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Uh, say it again, Max. <laughs> and action over to whoever's going to go first. Okay, that's what it is. Now this is the um. What is what is this? Is this is the is this the fourth one or the fifth one? Uh, I'm not sure. Fifth. You, our turn says fifth. Okay. Okay. So it's, this is the fifth Omen Peer Group Leadership Training. And um, this is the appraisal. The actual group, I wish everybody could have seen this group because it, it was quite amazing the way it went. And Liz, you did a wonderful job leading, I have to say. And, and, and Peter did a wonderful job as a dreamer. And all these people in the group did a wonderful job. I wish everybody could have seen this. But we're gonna just give the appraisal now. And so first we, um, we, go, to, um, we go to you, Liz. And you tell us, you give us self appraisal. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> so, yeah, it's an interesting one today because it definitely felt quite different to other groups I've led. And I think because um, the group is very experienced, it's a slightly different. I feel like I, I didn't, I don't know, other people were jumping in much more than normal, which. Um, just made it feel a bit different um, and maybe made me feel like I wasn't that in control of what was going on all the time. But on the other hand, Max and I discussed this before um, and you know, in Appreciating Dreams, Monty says it um, obviously that the goal of leading a group is ultimately that the leader is not that significant and the group is able to kind of drive the group forward itself and it very much felt like that was happening today but then there's kind of a, another level of my self-consciousness of the fact that I'm supposed to be leading and it felt like I was less in control of the group than I normally would be so that experience is a little bit unsettling for me as a leader and made me feel a little bit unsteady at times which is different to the, the unsteadiness that I normally feel which is about having the weight of too much responsibility. Um, so it's kind of the opposite experience that I had. And I don't know, figuring out a balance of that going forward, I think, um, which will happen with more experience. <laughs> well, so yeah, sometimes I felt like, um, <laughs> because I was leaving it a little bit more open, sometimes maybe I let things go a little bit too much when maybe I should have been um, moving things on a bit faster. Well, that, that's a problem we all have. I mean, I have that, we all have that. That's, that's, it's, it's a really skill to develop over the many years. This process can move much faster than we think, um, but it needs the time, it needs this time. I just wanna say, that I really felt from the beginning to the end that you were very much in control. And I felt you did a beautiful job the way you did it. I mean, I, I was wishing, gee, I wish I could speak like her because you have a wonderful way of expressing yourself. So you really, really, you, you, you part an effusion of, of, um, of really information on what people should do and what, what this process stage, each stage is about. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that the group got a chance to experience this so people can see how it was done right. <laughs> um, let me see if I can say anything else. Um, I'm not supposed to say this until the end though, but I, I'm, I'm just afraid that I wouldn't, I wanna answer you. What, I, I don't think you did anything too much. I think you did a wonderful job. I really think you did a perfect job of leading. Let, let me, um, let me see, we go now to the, um, to members of the group. And then we go to the dreamers, the last one. And then I'm the last one. I already talked. So members of the group. Anybody want to come forth and talk about the evaluate Liz? Uh, I would like to say, uh, Liz, uh, thank you very much to beat today's dream. I think uh, uh, it's very, it go, uh, went very smoothly. And, um, very, we can be, we could be very uh, relaxed in the dream group. And I would like to uh, point out three parts. 
uh, you did very well. First, uh, you introduce every section very clearly. And second, um, in the second section, when somebody say about Pandora's box and you shift to metaphor very easily and also lead us to um, talk more about metaphor. And the third is uh, in the section context. I feel this part is a little bit difficult because we couldn't, I, I at least uh, I don't feel so uh, clear that uh, what is the main point of this dream? Uh, what, what's the context uh, to the dreamer, uh, from the dreamer? But you always could ask um, different questions to uh, that uh, the dreamers to think more or to uh, think a different way. So we can expand the, the context in this section. Thank you. Thank you, Yachun. <laughs> I would like to um, say some lovely things to our friend Liz the leader of today um yeah i appreciate so much your uh eloquence as yashwan was saying in terms of setting the scene so to speak and i noticed for myself a thought around um you mentioned for you you noticed usually you would be more leaning forwards and in this instance it was like you had to like be with the dissonance of leaning back a little bit like oh is it it's like usually come on more spark and this time it's like oh whoa so much spark and i i wrote down just myself i was thinking oh how to be with the that kind of that dissonance like that sense of not sure what's happening but have to trust the process so there's something quite magical in you holding that that allowed the process to 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 have that dynamic um that i appreciate i i felt it i was noticing it myself um yeah that's uh and just um yeah just appreciating you and what you did yeah thank, thank you. you very much for offering that to us today thank you yeah, it's, it's interesting because in the first, I guess the first stage up to the end of the dreamer's response, I was feeling really comfortable because it's just so lovely. Like in a sense, I didn't have to do anything. Everyone was doing it. People knew they could ask questions. They knew how to follow the rules. But then I guess it's something that I need to break down inside of myself, the pressure and tension in the next section. But it was just an interesting experience to have it in kind of an opposite way today. But I'm bringing like a nervous energy to that part of the process, I think, which hopefully over time, I'm imagining like enzymes were working on it and we'll break it down and that will be able to disappear. And I'll be able to just enjoy that part of it rather than mm. the experience of being in it and then having this other voice kind of piping in about, different things as we're going through that part it's mm. difficult and then obviously in the leadership training there's then another layer of feeling like people are watching what you're doing <laughs> in order to appraise you at the end i think so you know mm. the stuff I, 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 I had one image come to mind which is like in music the dynamics of playing really softly and playing really loud but being able to oscillate rather than just one tone and that's that's a sign of somebody who has a lot of subtlety i have that image that that's what you're working on thank you so something i want to say and this dream was interesting because uh i felt i felt that there, there's certain right after i felt it was important in this dream not to um keep approaching Fijara like she was someone who couldn't figure her dream out. Because it was evident after the first section that, that Joyce read that she had figured it out. And quite amazingly, you know, and she just unraveled it like that. And I, I find that, um, I find it very helpful in the leadership if, if a dreamer does that, 
especially in the first section, to tell them they did it. And that then they can go on to do it in the next section. It's a kind of an encouragement and an affirmation. And it, it really works. You know, it's yes, it's an interesting moment in the playback where um, I, I kind of um, just forgot what I was doing in the sense that the first, the very first image, Phaedra completely unraveled. And then we got to the aquarium and Phaedra was kind of like, I don't know. And obviously that what you then do is you highlight the images and what have you, but because she, kind of she just said, I don't know, it made me feel like, oh, does she really not know? <laughs> but obviously Phaedra did know and just needed a bit of prompting, but I kind of forgot what I was doing. So I think the contrast of being so um, expressive and understanding the first part, it kind of jarred me and I think I panicked a little bit. No, 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 you didn't. She told us she didn't know what that meant. And so it's, it's a natural, it's like a jerk me response. Let's go on to something else. That's not, but the thing is, she said she didn't know what the aquarium meant. But the thing is, it was kind of dirty and messy, all this other stuff. And she related to that and she told us what that meant. And so all of a sudden, for the second time, she was right on top of the dream. And she actually managed to transcribe it into our English language that we speak. And she did that every, every single piece of the dream. I, I think, Liz, you did a wonderful job. And what you did wasn't wrong is I would have done the same, you know. Um, anyway, who's, uh, who's next? Did Mac, did you finish Max? Yes. Anybody, uh, who's next? Our dream group member. Okay, I can, um, I can say. Joanna, go ahead. Uh, thank you for your leading. I really feel you are a very wonderful dream group leader, and I learned a lot from you. And especially, I like I like your your voice, and you speak very soft and very slow. Especially when you explain each stage, you explain it very clearly and uh, make sure everyone in the group understand what we where we we are so that's very fantastic to me and especially you are very you follow the dreamer very well and you know um point out the, the main question and and let the dreamer is explain herself i think it's very very uh wonderful and and i also like when you really don't know what to do, you will ask for help. And I think it's very important when we do the training because somehow we don't know how to do, it's the time we can ask uh, what to do. Maybe in the reality when we lead a dream group, maybe we don't have someone can ask, but it's a good time for us to ask what to do. So thank you for your uh, wonderful leading. Thank you, Joanna. <laughs> I guess Joyce is, is still. Yeah. And because I've been, been to, a, I'm not sure how many times to this dream group a lot, so I can sort of understand what she says about the style is pretty different. But I also think that is one way is that it all happens so, so, so smoothly because the Dreamer know what she's doing, and you, the leader, know what we are doing, and the other, the other member, the whole group knows what we are doing. So it all happens very smoothly. And I also sort of feel like, just as you said, sometimes when being the leader, we felt very felt stress about we always need to know where it is heading. But in the string, I feel like because all the people here knows what they are doing, so by or oh, although you are being the, the leader, but that this is the kind of situation that you can also enjoy the dream. Cause, because most of the time when we do that, we sort of just pack with ourselves with the process and being worried and we don't get to think aloud with your our own idea. By. So I, I feel that this dream group we have today is quite perfect actually. So thank you. It was quite well, perfect. I feel like, um, Exactly what you said there, Joyce, that because Phaedra is so good at this, and I remember it last time um, as well when Phaedra did her dream, um, it's almost like there is no work to do. And then also the other members of the group 
did the work that the leader often has to do and asked asked questions as we went along so in a way I wasn't I don't think I needed to do anything <laughs> it's kind of how it felt which that is kind of like a perfect dream group <laughs> well, well Liz you're right but the thing is that we've gotten too used to that and when you come you're like fresh air because you actually do all the things you're supposed to do so you 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 model them for people I think it's very beautiful what you did um, I just wanted to say that what I think what Max, a word Max said, eloquence. And I think that's, that's the trait you have. I've always noticed that you're an eloquent person. It's just by your very nature that you're eloquent. And so you lead the dream group in an eloquent way. And that's a wonderful way to lead it, in fact, I feel. Now we've done all the, um, we've done the, um, the dream group leader, which is Liz and everybody. And now it's time to do Fijar, the, um, the dreamer. Where's Fijar? Uh, here I am. Okay, okay uh, I will give my opinions as a dreamer, how I feel about the dream group. At first, I think that's, that's a very good dream group for even if just for starter. I'm, I'm not mean starter leader, I mean starter member. If anyone they hasn't figured out what's dream group doing and what, what we do, are we talk about everyone's dream or what? And that's the perfect one because Lee's instruction is very clear and the tempo is very right. That's very great. If I have a new friend, I would like them to join Dream Good. I would love them to join Lee's Dream Good, then they would know what to do. Because to me, I think Taiwan is a kind of shy and we need instruction, <laughs> like clear instruction. That's a good 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 thing it's very different from the lisa string good last week and the second part i'm going to share my opinion as a dreamer to interact with leaders um although lisa you say you kind of feel like you do nothing that's a perfect dream good but let me point out your personality the way you're talking your tone when you ask me a question Every detail matters. If if you when when you uh, during when we during the context, I actually have a, a lot of thought flowing like they are like flyings. I don't know which one to catch at all. And so if you didn't ask the right point, or you, I wouldn't I wouldn't get the idea. So yeah, like the Aquarian things. I, I really did not know what it mean because it's somewhere and I need you to remind me to catch it out. But except for the Aquarian things, uh, Bill give you a hint, but after that, every question we go through, you doing so good because believe me, I joined Drink Good for years. I met people talking with bad tone, with wrong tone to asking question, with the wrong way, the same question, but too, um, too subjected or too uh, pre, pre, pre uh, prejudiced way to asking question. That would ruin the whole context if I'm not strong enough to stand in my idea. The, the dream will be ruined, but you're doing great. You're doing just in the mutual to let me speak out and let me speak fluent i feel today i speak very fluent i so fluent i think today i didn't speak something unrelated before i did actually i would say something really unrelated but uh under your leading it just keep going going very naturally thank you oh, i'm so glad thank you <laughs> Well, when the dreamer says that, you know you did a good job, as Monte Guillermo would always say in his leadership training. I, I think, Liz, I think you did a very good job. And like, like I told you, I, I sort of anticipated you would. I had that feeling um, that you would do a knockout job, and you did. All of these people in this group is good. You know, that's another thing. It really matters to work with a good dream group, like you say. It really makes it so much better, and with a good dreamer. And Fajar is a perfect dreamer, but you are a perfect dream group leader. So 
Does anybody else want to say anything else before we sign off? Zing hadn't shared it, right? Yeah, that's what <laughs> I thought. I was like, Zing, Zing. Yeah, I want to say something, but um, I, was, I didn't want to say anything in case you did share at the beginning and I'd forgotten. <laughs> no, 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 I, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> Go ahead. I just really appreciate Lee's um, um, I'm sorry, the leadership. <laughs> no worries. I think it's the first time I went. It's um. The first time I heard about when we do the projection, because Liz really gave us the example, like you can use your sympathy to, to like uh, sympathy with the, a dreamer, or you can treat it as your dream. It's like it's the first time I know. Oh, there can be a two way. So, <laughs> and I think it's really um, Liz gave us um, like like really clear instruction, and she gave you all the examples, so it's easy to follow. And regarding the context, I. Th I think she know when to say um, it's um, it's 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 enough. Then we can go to the next step. So I think, please, you you got um, the order, the program under control, and it, it's a long dream. But I think you can finish in um, in, in a really smooth way. And another thing is, um, I know you are the the leader. In this dream group, but in the same time, I feel you are also the member because you, um, you, you gave us your uh, uh, your idea. You ask questions, but also you also bring out a more um, aspect, and then we can expand it the whole concept. So, you did you did a very great 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 job. Thank you so much. Amazing. <laughs> And actually, this is, I mean, it's really nice to hear this because I think um, in a way it makes me feel like I can just be myself and do it because I have got like insecurity and you feel vulnerable leading groups and, you know, people aren't always telling you what they think and you're imagining people might be thinking things and not saying them to you. Um, so I think this has probably been really good for me to hear. Um, and what you were saying, Zing, about knowing when to move on, it's interesting because a lot of my like, insecurity as we were going through this was that, oh God, I'm like not moving on quickly enough or like, you know, I'm, I'm doing that bit wrong. But maybe there's a critical moment where you kind of hit that point where maybe it's about to happen, but you can't feel that until you've just done enough, maybe. <laughs> so maybe that's an instinct thing that, I can maybe trust that I have rather than just worrying that I'm messing it up as I'm doing it. Well, you didn't mess anything up here, you know? That's the nice thing. Now, do we have anybody, did, did Joyce get a chance to speak? Joyce? Yep, I said, uh, I speak already. Oh, okay. So everybody has spoken. Okay. Well, so I guess next week is, is Max, is that true? Yes, true. So who's coming next week? Um, just um, Joyce? I'm sorry, I got a part-time job next, next week, so I can come. Okay, Joanna? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> and, uh, Zing? Um, I got something to do next week, but I can come back the next, next week. Wow, we're gonna be lucky. And, and Liz? I'm 50-50. I mean, I can probably um, join, but maybe a tiny bit late. Oh, so maybe not. So, Yachuan, well, yeah. we will not have a group next week. I'm, I'm a maybe two then. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. You're a maybe two? I've got... No, we will do it. Let's do it. A... Yeah. Well, there's it's nobody going to be it. here, Max. Just you and me and... Uh... And Yachuan. Yachuan Yachuan is a yes. Yes. Remember, yes. Bill, how you yes. tell everybody to bring yet. your dream? You could bring your dream. You could do your dream. Yeah, I, <laughs> yes. I can. I am a yes. You're a yes. We have one yes. So my issue is that um, Laura starts work at seven o'clock here, and Dream Group starts at six. And um, on Sundays, there's no public transport, so I need to drive her to work. But to drive her to work an hour early, we're gonna have to leave the house at half past five in the morning, and no, it's not ideal. So maybe, I mean, if, if everyone agrees, could we start 
I mean, is it possible to start an hour later next week and start at seven instead of six, yeah. uh, which for you would be, uh, but I'm, then Lisa and Alan might not be able to come. So okay. maybe check with Lisa and Alan, and, and if not, I can just drop in late if everyone's comfortable with that. Liz, will you, will you let me know if you're coming? So the only person definitely coming is Yachuan. I guess Yachuan and me, I guess I could, could. Now Max, how about Max? Max <laughs> well, uh, yeah, all of Can you can too. Would you, yeah. what, who's in? No, Peter, I was going to ask her. We can come too. Okay, Fijar can come. So we have a small group. Okay. And are you happy for me to just drop in a little bit late? No, it's okay. We'll wait for you if you come a little late. Um, but when I'm a little mm, late, I mean like 45 I, I, I minutes think drop late. In. Or, yeah. No, 45 minutes. Max, you're definitely coming next week? I, I can't. It will be nine o'clock and I will be very tired by the oh, time. Okay. I will be no good. But do drop week? in. Should we cancel next week, everybody? And do it we're the following doing, week? We're not, yeah, we're not changing the time of the dream group, though, because I think Lisa and Alan still might be able to come, mightn't they, if it's at the normal time? Okay, they join. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do to pull it together, okay? Um, but start at the same time is good for me, because if it's later, I will, I will be... I'll okay. Be Sorry drawing. about all that. We have to close <laughs> off now because this is the end of our um Oh yeah, oh, we're yeah, still recording. Right. <laughs> You're gonna need to learn how to edit, Bill, to cut this I, ending off. I really have you to can just, you can just press stop recording and we can still talk if you need. Oh I see. Yeah. Let me let me just close it off. <laughs>